Thank you, Santa Barbara, for continuing to watch Nonprofit Spotlight. Today, we're at People Self-Help Housing. And in fact, right now, we're in front of one of their affordable housing units at 21 East Annapamu Street. We'll be having a conversation with Executive Director Jeanette Duncan, as well as Development Director Rochelle Rose. Let's start our spotlight. Well, thank you, Jeanette, for being with us today. Can you start off by telling our viewers the mission of People Self-Help Housing? Well, our mission is to really provide affordable housing for people who either want to build their first home, have their first home, or need affordable rental housing. So that's really our mission. But uh, beyond the housing that we provide, additionally, we provide support services, after school education for the kids who live in our apartments, uh, also support services for seniors who want to live in their homes as long as possible, be independent. And we have social workers on staff who also work with some of our special needs residents that live in our rental housing. So it's both housing and support services that we think will help people become really much more economically self-sufficient. Can you tell me a little bit more about the people that you serve? You definitely mentioned them just now um, briefly, but I'm interested to hear exactly what types of people um, are served by people self-help housing. Well, we have young families who want to own their first home, okay. who participate in our sweat equity program. We started before Habitat, so we help families get financing and we supervise them and they build their own home in really? groups of 10. Hmm. Also then, we uh, also provide services through rental housing, both uh, affordable rental housing for families, also for seniors, for some of the developmentally disabled, and we've been working the last few years with a lot of referrals from the homeless shelter in Santa Barbara, uh, folks who really need uh, an affordable place right. and that has some support services, like our Victoria Hotel, where we provide breakfast in the mornings and also meals during the week, and everybody has their own room. And then our social workers help them fill out job applications. They also help them perhaps get uh, veterans benefits that they haven't uh, applied for. So it's a full range of services for a full range of people. Definitely. How long has People's Self-Help been around? Well, we were incorporated in 1970. Oh, wow. 40 years ago, That's actually. That's quite a history. It's just our 40th anniversary year. And we started out just trying to help families get their first home through the building method. We started before Habitat. And we've helped over 1,200 families here in the Central Coast build their first home. How many people would you say are served by People Self Help, or how many uh, rental or housing facilities do you have? Well, we have now almost 1,400 uh, affordable rentals, and we sort of added up how many people sleep in our housing every night, and it's close to 5,000. That's this, an amazing on the Central number. Coast. And then as far as people who built their first home, we have over 1,200 who've built their first home. So if you add that up, it comes to a lot of people that we've helped. Well, Jeanette, you mentioned this is the 40th anniversary of People's Self-Help Housing. Describe for me one of your proudest moments uh, during that time. Well, I think probably my proudest moment has been when I've seen children who moved into our housing uh, suddenly tell me that they are going to graduate from high school and they're going to go on to college. And those are children who participated in our after school program. And to me, that's a great success uh, that w for the future. And I see that every day. So I can't say I have one particular success, many successes. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for talking with us today. We really appreciate it. You're most welcome. Well, thank you, Rochelle, for joining us. What types of supportive programs uh, does People Self Help Housing provide? Uh, we have several programs. One is the Supportive Housing Program, and that is um, supportive social services for our residents. Um, we hire um, licensed clinical social workers to work one on one with uh, any tenants that have any kind of problems. Um, they're also very helpful in working with uh, people that have been formerly homeless. Uh, it takes a lot of work to get them stable and able to uh, move into a permanent affordable housing. We have a financial educator that goes out and gives free workshops on foreclosure prevention, on uh, financial literacy uh, for our children as well as for adult 
a residence, yeah. and also how to get into your first home. So those are open to the community and a public service. Another one, uh, of course, is our after-school youth education program where we have uh, after-school education for about 300 children a day in five different sites. And so they come to our uh, centers and we have bilingual teachers that work with them, help them with their homework, they do educational enhancement activities, as well as physical activity and healthy snacks. <laughs> What would you say are some of the biggest challenges facing um, people self-help housing or organizations like yours that are trying to provide affordable housing to community members? Well, that's an excellent question because um, developing affordable housing is a very long-term process, as you can imagine, especially in Santa Barbara County. It takes a lot of money, finances, expertise, and commitment. Um, and a we have been blessed with wonderful leadership and a great staff to help us do that. What sorts of community uh, support do you depend on? And for our viewers uh, that are interested in getting involved with people self-help mm -hmm. housing, how, how might they go about volunteering? Well, thank you. Um, they can certainly call our office here in Santa Barbara or San Luis Obispo. And we have a website, www.pshhc.org. We have a great need for tutors to work with the children one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, we have a need for people to help uh, uh, pick up food at the food bank, um, pick up snacks for the kids, things like that. So there's a lot of different ways you can help. What are the plans for the future when it comes to people self-help housing? And you know, I'm not necessarily talking five or ten years out, but a recent future. Well, with, with sufficient funding from government sources, foundations, private individuals, um, we can move forward on the, uh, to satisfy the great need for affordable housing in our communities. Um, some of the projects around southern Santa Barbara County um, are the in Carpinteria, we plan to expand by 33 units Dahlia Court affordable apartments. Um, nearby there is the Carpinteria Camper Park, which is a very critical area where we have very low-income families living in very substandard, really, travel trailers for many years. And we want to redevelop that into uh, 43 units of quality housing. And we have some other projects uh, uh, for rental housing in uh, Goleta. We have self-help homes going in at uh, uh, Los Alamos and Templeton further north. So a lot of, lot of activity yeah, and a lot, lot of, of need for money. Exactly, a lot of support needed. How do you find the people that you support? How do they come to you? Uh, they come to us in a variety of ways. Um, they may be referred by an, an agency of the county, for example, or come from the housing authority, or oftentimes from a shelter. Um, uh, around this area, the homeless seem to have a network and they, they find out about us. Uh, Low-income families also may be referred by a housing authority or from a social, social service agency. And we have our website, and the right. word gets out. <laughs> Definitely. Well, thank you, Rochelle, for talking with us and sharing with me and our viewers all of the wonderful services that People Self Help Housing provides. We really appreciate it. Thank you for the opportunity. You're watching Nonprofit Spotlight. If you'd like your nonprofit featured in a future nonprofit spotlight, contact us at the information on your screen.